Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And the purpose of this video is to talk about purging or um, dealing with those unresolved issues that we kind of like stuff inside. We think maybe that we dealt with them already, but we realize that they come to surface once again in our physical reality. And before I begin, I haven't been on this YouTube channel in a while. I've been on TikTok. I left uh, YouTube and I went over to TikTok just to have some fun, to be honest with you. And um, I deleted my Facebook uh, page. I'm no longer on Facebook for all of my supporters that were there. I appreciate you and I am hopeful that you are still along with me on this journey. Nonetheless, what I've learned in the physical reality is that um, most of the times when I do these videos, I'm really doing them for myself. Because really, if you... If I look at the totality of it all, I am all. I am the universe. I am you. You are me. It is a collective consciousness. So here I go, simply talking to myself. <laughs> and so in my journey, if I can help someone, that'll be a beautiful thing. No, I'm knowing that ultimately I'm helping myself. So if I'm helping myself, that's a beautiful thing in itself because if my frequency can increase alone, it can cause a domino effect for other people to rise and their their frequency will be increased just because they they were in proximity of me. You know, they experienced me. They experienced my energy. My energy was strong enough to quicken their body. They're quick to quicken like their dry bones, so to speak. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the law. <laughs> I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. So let's begin. Anyway, so it's about purging. And I, I was on TikTok and there's this guy there. He's really, really uh, conscious. And, um, and I admire him a lot. And he was doing a live earlier today, which I couldn't sit through all of it. But he was asking or talking rather about, you know, <laughs> if you wanted someone in a relationship, what do you do, you know, if you want particular qualities in a relationship? What do you do? And and I said, for example, if you want love, you become it. But he went on to mention, so what do you do with the things that you were not? What happens to maybe the doubt, the fear, the jealousy, the envy, the hate, you know, that you used to have? And it was really interesting to me. And my phone died. I couldn't hear what that end of that. And that's why I wanted to talk about that today because um, on my channel, I like to talk about things that I've already experienced, you know, things that I, I can say that I know because words don't teach. It is the life experiences that's going to teach you. And so <laughs> through experience, I know for me that uh, you all already know that coming up, I was really introverted and I held a lot of things in, you know, little girl issues. And I, and I wrote even in my book, you know, that I, I dealt with those things. So what I want to share with you all is that on our journey, we might, we might believe that, you know, that, that negative energy that we had, that we dealt with it. But <laughs> years later, it can sure enough come to surface on you and meet you face to face and let you know that, oh, no, you forgot about me. You tucked me really, really deep inside of there. And you thought I was, you know, purged, but nope, you got to deal with me. And I know I, I, I speak of this movie, the, the, um, the movie Us a lot, but it really, really shines light on what's going on in our physical reality so much. When we talk about uh, purging, we talk about our lower self and our higher self. When the doppelgangers, you know, came from underground or whatever, their twin or their reflection, they had to deal with that particular reflection. So, for example, for me, I'm not a, a um, hateful person. <laughs> I'm not a jealous type person, you know. I, I'm not going to say that I'm all love and light, though. But what I will say is that I, I, I deal with me, you know. I deal with the matters that, 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 you know, that I know or the feelings that I know that come to surface in me. And so the other day I, uh, <laughs> I had this feeling and the name of this feeling, you would m maybe understand if I tell you the name, it was something we call jealousy. And so I'm really not a jealous hearted person by far. And so it surprised me and it made me feel 
confused. Um, kind of, in a, in a sense, I, I guess this is a harsh word, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Kind of disappointed in myself that I felt that feeling. And the introverted part of me, because I felt that, began to go in and begin to kind of like get shy, so to speak, and had to leave the situation simply because it was a feeling that I had never experienced in a long, long, long time. And I didn't want to have that particular feeling, right? So like I say, I am accountable for me. So what I did was I went <laughs> in another area, so to speak, to excuse myself from the situation because I had to talk to me, you know, because I believe that I have a lower self and a higher self and I want to be accountable for my energy because I know all things in this physical reality is energy, frequency, and vibration. And so I excused myself and I said to myself, what is wrong with you? Where did this come from? And I talked to myself just like this here because I believe that I am God and God never asks itself a question that he or she does not already know the answer to. So in asking myself that question, my subconscious mind is hunting for the answer because I want to know why. I want to get down to the nitty gritty of why. Is this some little girl stuff we still dealing with here that we thought we we dealt with years ago? <sighs> but also in asking myself why, how I deal with it is I increase my frequency also with that. I, I want to know the answer. I want to know where it stemmed from, but I'm not going to sit there and, and dwell on it. I'm going to increase my frequency like so. I'm going to let myself know. Oh, I thought we had dealt with that already. Oh, but look at where you are right now in your journey. Oh, you can't compare yourself to that situation because your situation is a little bit different. Oh, we are in the age of Aquar Aquarius where behold, all things shall become new. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So in telling myself these type things, I'm increasing my frequency. I am now letting this mind be in me <laughs> instead of the thing that I was thinking of. And I'm, I'm saying this to you because sometimes in our journey, we have to experience this purge and this purge might come when you think you just cl floating on cloud nine when when you are the happiest person in a beautiful relationship and you feel so puzzled like what what where did this come from and so there's never a point where it's kind of like over so to speak it's just new levels on this particular journey and so you gotta learn how to Say, hello, fear. I see your ass. We're going to deal with you today. Hello, Bridget. I am Bridget. You know? <laughs> hello, jealousy. From the little girl inside of you. Who maybe thought it was so unfair. Because you were supposed to be the baby. <laughs> You felt so alone, so so neglected, so much jealousy then. I see you. You know, and you and so just like in the movie Us, it's like you you you're standing there face to face with your reflection, yourself, and you're deciding which one of you are gonna get purged. Is the lower frequency part of you gonna get purged or the higher frequency part, you know? Are you going to stay at a low vibration or are you going to let the larger part of you rise? But one of you has to die. And so it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when we evolve in a physical reality. It's a beautiful thing to say, okay, I want love. So I'm just going to become love. You know, when, I'm, when I become conscious, you know, I'm just going to be love and light. And you know, um, I want to, I want to be wealthy. So I'm just going to become riches. Yeah. It's so beautiful to say those things, but, but the work still needs to get done. There's some things that you still have to deal with and purge from and let go of, and it will come to surface. And on the day that it comes to surface, 
I want to encourage you to deal with that thing so you can move on. I want to encourage you as if you're standing face to face with yourself in the mirror. To look at yourself eye to eye. And you tell yourself, the larger part of you, tell your lower self, when I move, you move. <laughs> okay? Just like that. <laughs> you have to be the one that's orchestrating this show. You are the God here. And everything else is just a reflection of you. So God should not be getting up off the throne, losing itself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stay on the throne and deal with yourself. And in dealing with yourself, you're dealing with everything and everyone around you. So that's something that I recently went through and I just wanted to share it with you all in physical reality. And the way that I, you know, tackled it was just dealing with it. Dealing with it instead of putting it, pushing it under the rug because that's how the double gangers or the reflections or the demons or the devil or whatever you want to call it is created. When you stuff that hurt in there. When you stuff that jealousy in there and you think you tucked it up really, really good. And nobody can see it. <laughs> But people like me, we could see it. You know, people people that understand energy, we can see it. We can see it and feel it in ourselves. We can see it and feel it. Even like when, you know, you look at like TikTok, for example, um, social media platforms, you see people energy. You can see all the people that's on there just for validation. They, they don't know. They don't know. Bless their heart. It's nothing judgmental. But energy does not lie. And you can sit here in the physical reality and lie to other people. Be like, oh, girl, I healed from that. Mm -hmm. Knowing you didn't. But those people see that. Or you could even be like I was and think and believe that you healed from something. And what is this? They had remnants of jealousy inside of you? <laughs> Anyway, on that day, choose wisely. On that day, choose to put out the fear, the hate, the jealousy, so you could experience <laughs> new levels in the physical reality. So you could continue to evolve to your higher self because that's what you came for to do I know sometimes we can forget because it's physical reality it seems so real to us but that's simply because we just so cold with it <laughs> but remember ye are God from my heart to yours baby be blessed Bye.